like and subscribe, and you'll have amazing luck for the rest of the week. No matter how much we try, some animals prefer not to be seen. Sometimes only a few of them are left. At other times, they'll rather stay in their safety holes. These 10 rare animals were recently caught on camera. This may be your only opportunity to see them. So, let's do this. Pink Dolphin Did you know, while regular ocean dolphins have a dorsal fin, pink dolphins have lumps on their backs. Therefore, if you see one with a lump, consider yourself lucky. Pink dolphins are also called bado, or Amazon River dolphins. These species live in the Amazon rainforest and are well adapted to the river. They are commonly found in the rivers and streams of the Orinoco River systems. Many often mistake this creature for albino dolphins due to their color, but they are different. Instead, they are one of the five dolphin species distantly related to ocean dolphins. What I find more exciting about them is that whenever they get excited, they turn pink. That is, you would think they are blushing. While they are called pink dolphins, their color sometimes varies from creamy white to gray-blue or murky brown. Scientists say they owe their pinkish coloration to their diet, consisting mainly of crabs and shellfish, which have a red pigment in their muscle tissues. These dolphins are the last of the five other river dolphin species, as all others are practically extinct. Researchers say their numbers are declining by at least 10% yearly. They are now named as an endangered species. Fishing Cat the last time a fishing cat was captured on camera was in Cambodia in 2003. More than a decade later, the animal went unnoticed. However, in 2015, researchers at Cambodia's Center for Biodiversity Conservation, in partnership with other research groups, confirmed that the animal was still around. Residents had sighted it earlier and reported it to scientists. They became curious and hoped the claims were valid, so they set up a camera trap in two locations. The first was stationed in Piam Krosa, a wildlife sanctuary, and the second was in Reem National Park. The trap captured both males and females. This discovery suggests that there is a breeding population within the protected area. The fishing cat is a medium-sized wildcat that lives in wetland habitats. Most are found in East India, Nepal, Sri Lanka, and Bangladesh. The IUCN lists them as an endangered species. These cats are home in the water, which is their haven. They are expert swimmers, capable of swimming long distances. Whistling Dog Wild animals were among the greatest beneficiaries of the 2020 pandemic and lockdown. The few months when humans were locked indoors allowed many rare creatures to reclaim their homes. From Buenos Aires to New Delhi and other parts of the world, several animals came out of hiding to explore areas they previously called home. One such animal was the whistling dog. It was last spotted in Gujarat over 50 years ago, but resurfaced in 2020. These Asiatic wild dogs were caught on camera traps set up by Vansa National Park in the Siandri Ranges. The whistling dog is named so due to its peculiar contact call. Scientists are unsure of the number of these species in the wild. However, there are fears that human interference has led to their demise. Dole is a candid native to Central, East, South, and Southeast Asia. They are listed as endangered species. Bantail Scorpion Fish Scientists at the Central Marine Fisheries Research Institute found a rare bantail scorpion fish off the Sethakurai coast in the Gulf of Manor. The creature was camouflaged in the seagrass meadows, so they needed extra care to identify it. This marine species is famous for its stinging venomous spines and the ability to change color. During the early search stage for the fish, researchers confused it for a coral skeleton covered in bivalve shells. When they touched it, it began changing color. Within four seconds, it transformed from white to mottled black. After they captured it using a Ziploc polyethylene bag, the fish flashed its pectoral fins with its inner sides to display a bright yellow color. It's named a scorpion fish because its spine contains neurotoxin venom that's extremely painful when injected into the human body. This also means consuming the fish leads to death. Their sensory system means they can detect respiratory ventilation flows produced by crabs from a 10 centimeter distance, even in a dark environment. The specimen has since been deposited into the CMFRI Museum. Woolly Flying Squirrel The woolly flying squirrel is one of the world's rarest mammals. This beautiful creature measures 3 feet long 
and weighs around 5 pounds. It spends most of its time gliding through mountain forests. Although it was known to scientists for over 130 years, it was previously thought to be a single rare species living primarily in remote valleys in Pakistan. International researchers from China and Australia shocked the world with their latest findings. They discovered two related species of these woolly flying squirrels unknown to science. These species live in India and China. The team, led by Professor Christoph Helgen and Dr. Stephen Jackson, published their findings in the Zoological Journal of the Linnean Society. They named these distinct species the Tibetan woolly flying squirrel and the Yunnan woolly flying squirrel. They're one of the largest squirrels in the world, but managed to stay unnoticed until 2021. These squirrels live at altitudes of up to 15,700 feet in areas uninhabited by people. This makes them one of the least known animals in the world. Wolf Snake You will never know what lies in waiting for you in the Amazon until you go nearer. In nature there, there are many hidden things in this region, and only a few scientists dare dig deeper into this mystery. Well, some researchers found a wolf snake with two fully formed heads in the Dankakoti Forest Range of Kianjar Wildlife Sanctuary in Odisha. Reports say a wildlife enthusiast and photographer, Rakesh Mahalik, filmed the rare reptile. The snake is reportedly venomous and measures 14 centimeters long. It has two fully formed heads, four eyes, and two tongues. Although rare, experts say two-headed snakes can't last in the wild for long. These unique creatures are undoubtedly frightening, but in some cultures, they're considered a blessing to the people. Two-headed snakes are not new to science. In fact, they're similar to conjoined twins. If this wolf snake survives, it will help scientists gather details about other two-headed animals. South Philippine Dwarf Kingfisher the South Philippine Dwarf Kingfisher was first described during the Steri expedition to the Philippines in 1890. The bird is the tiniest forest kingfisher in the country. It's famous for its orange, metallic, lilac, and bright blue spots. This rare species is found in the second growth forest in the islands of Mindanao and Basilan. After its first sighting, it eluded scientists for many years due to its behavior. It's difficult to see because it perches quietly and darts invisibly from perch to perch. The latest clip of this animal is thanks to Miguel David de Leon, a Filipino field biologist and director of the Robert S. Kennedy Bird Conservancy. Unfortunately, the animal is threatened with extinction. It's the first in recent times the animal's been filmed. De Leon and his team have consistently visited the site in the last 10 years to track the animal's behavior, like its feeding, nesting, and breeding habits. It was only recently they found the answers to their questions. Ball Python The ball python is a non-venomous python species found in sub-Saharan Africa. It's the smallest of the African pythons. It's named after a ball due to its tendency to curl into a ball when frightened or stressed. Some locals call it the royal python because they believe African rulers like Cleopatra wore it as jewelry. These species are stocky with a relatively small head, their scales are smooth, and both sexes have anal spurs on both sides of their vent. Their color pattern is typically dark brown or black with white, brown, or gold sides. While this is the standard description for this animal, pet enthusiasts have developed many morphs with altered patterns and colors. These snakes are nocturnal and solitary creatures. Males display semi-arboreal behaviors, while females tilt towards terrestrial behaviors. During dry months, they hide in mammal burrows and other underground hiding places. In captivity, they're considered ideal pets due to their small size. Sumatran Rhino Sumatran rhinos are one of the rarest mammals in the world. As we speak, less than 100 of them are left on the island of Sumatra. The largest living population is found in the Lesier ecosystem, a rainforest located in northern Sumatra. These rhinos prefer tropical regions covered with rainforests, cloud forests, and swamps. Many years ago, they roamed Malaysia, Thailand, and Indonesia. However, they vanish with time. Today, you can find them only in eastern Kalimantan and in Sumatra. In 1900, there were 5,000 individuals, but by the beginning of this century, the figure was trimmed to less than 1,000. The chances are that you'll find about 15 rhinos living in Kalimantan. If you don't, you know who to blame. 
These rhino species are solitary, except during breeding season. The main threat to the Sumatran rhino is habitat loss, since their homes have been long covered by farmlands, cattle pastures, or used for logging. Worse still, they're a target for poachers thanks to their horns being believed to have medicinal properties. White Killer Whale White killer whales are unlike regular orcas, which you can often find on a regular fishing expedition. When researchers found this rare species off the Alaskan coast, they were convinced it was one of only five in the world. The two-year-old pale male was swimming alongside an adult orca when they identified it. Whale watchers were quick to spot the difference and identify it. This whale is easily identifiable from other sea animals. Its white coloring distinguishes it from similar species, especially because it shines on the water's surface. Usually, orcas disappear and are hard to follow when they go underwater. With white killer whales, the story is different. You can see them at least 10 feet below the water's surface, even when they go underwater. Their unusual coloration is caused by lucuism, a condition that results in partial loss of pigmentation. This makes them different from albinos. In albinism, there's a complete loss of pigmentation, including the eyes. While this white killer whale, called Tuluk, has been sighted in British Columbia and Washington, it hasn't been seen in Alaska. Until next time, adios.